Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be yet another flashback first impression. This is a series that I do where I try out products that used to be super hyped and super popular that I've never tried. So I hope you guys like this video. Today we're trying out the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, like I said, I've never tried this before. I got the shade 1-in-1 one one Ivory Nude. Y'all will see what I think about the shade match and all of that in the actual demo. So obviously they claim that this is a full coverage foundation. It says it's for all skin types, 24 hour staying power, looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, non-stop activity. Won't change color, smudge, or come off when clothes. Lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's long wear. Medium buildable coverage. It's not full coverage. Medium build. Medium buildable coverage. Won't clog pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of stuff to do. Um, you do get a full fluid ounce in here and it is $42, which is like, ow. <laughs> which is funny because earlier this year when I went to first look at this, it was only $39.50. So uh, see what you're doing there, stay. I see what you're doing. So I hope you guys like this video, and if you want to see my opinion on the Estee Lauder Double Wear, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is Estee Lauder Double Wear in 1 in 1. This is Maybelline Fit Me in 210. This is Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Porcelain. And this is Dermacol 208. So as you can see, this one is much darker. Dermacol is actually my perfect shade match, or closest shade match at least. Okay, so you guys will have already seen swatches, but uh, I haven't. It's still in the box. So this uh, might be an interesting day for me. Well, that's not too bad. Look at me. Well, blends in perfectly with the back of my hand. Let's see if that trend stays with the, my face and my neck. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to have to get a pump for this if I end up liking this. So I'm going to do, normally for these types of things, I like to do one side of my face with the beauty sponge and the other side with a brush. But I've realized that I really don't like using brushes and so I feel like it's kind of counteractive to test it with a brush when I know I'm not going to use a brush and I don't like a brush. So I'm just going to use the beauty sponge. Um, I'm also not going to use a primer because I don't use primers on an everyday basis um, but I did just like slather my skin in moisturizer probably about 10 minutes ago so hopefully I'm nice and moisturized for this uh, foundation because I've heard that it can be quite drying and super matte. So we'll see how this works on my dry ass skin. <laughs> a little bit dark. <laughs> but you know, story of my life. <laughs> okay, so I use like literally the tiniest amount, but uh not really full coverage yet. By the way, this is a uh, hair dye. <laughs> of course, it's not covering that, so definitely not full coverage. Which is kind of disappointing because uh, that was literally the main reason that I wanted to try this foundation was that it was claimed to be like super full coverage. I really wanted that, but uh. That's alright, I'll just add it to a long list of disappointing full coverage foundations. Okay, so that's one layer. It looks nice. I covered up most of my acne. Um, it looks very skin like, which I enjoy. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. It's definitely too dark. I won't be able to tell just how too dark until 
and get out to the uh, car to see it in real life because like, I have terrible lighting in this situation. Um, but I do really like it. It looks really nice sitting on the skin. Usually foundations sit on the uh, in the pores in my nose here, in this area, and make my nose look really textured and gross. But uh, this one isn't doing that, which I enjoy. It's not sitting on the little pore-like blackhead things happening up there, which I really enjoy. Um, doesn't look me make me look more textured than I already am. I'm just gonna drag this down my neck as much as possible. As a first application, I enjoy this. Um, I feel like it's setting down, so I probably won't set this with a powder. It's December now, so you know I'm not sweating when I go outside for once, so uh, yeah, I probably won't set this down with a powder or anything, but definitely looks nice. I'll give you a close up look at how this is looking on my skin right now. You can still see a little bit of darkness coming through from my acne, but uh, nothing too crazy. I can live with it. I've never been super self conscious about acne to begin with, so it's not the end of the world for me. But it's really nice. It feels really lightweight on the skin. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation. I don't feel like I'm wearing like a mask that like is gonna start peeling off. It feels nice. Yeah, that's like totally set down now, so that's good. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna set this with a powder, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Um, it is 9.20 a.m. We're gonna do check out. We're gonna be doing check-ins throughout the day and keeping up with it, seeing how it wears and all that. So I guess I will check back with you in the next check-in. <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, I suck. <laughs> it's uh, four o'clock, so this is like six hours in. I meant to do like a two hour check in, but uh, yeah. So, foundation's been on for six and a half hours. God, I hope that math is correct. Um, it looks good. The shade match is good. It's maybe like half a shade too dark, but like, I really. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, it's looking a tad cakey around my nose. I don't know if you can see that, but like you can see it like separating. It's really cakey and separated around my nose. It's looking a little powdery. I'll definitely need to like moisturize a lot more the next time, but overall I like it. Um, it's definitely creasing a good bit around my mouth. I've been talking a lot today, so that is not um, surprising. But as of right now, I like it. It's rubbed off a lot on my nose, which I'm surprised about because like foundations don't usually do that. But it looks really bad around my nose, <laughs> like really bad. I'm gonna have to put it like a lot less on my nose and really moisturize. But as of right now, I like it. Um, I don't know if I'm obsessed with it, but it's definitely a good, like, special event type of uh, foundation. It's definitely not, like, an everyday look at all. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep wearing it, and I'll check in with you later. Hopefully. Okay, so I've washed my face, obviously. Um, my eyes were driving me crazy, so I had to take everything off. It is 8.30. So I kept the foundation on for about 11 hours. Um, like I said in the last check-in, it didn't really change that much. Um, it was real cakey around my nose and it started to separate a lot. Um, and it looked a little powdery even though I didn't set it. But in all in all, I think it wore pretty well. Um, I definitely need to moisturize more before I use it next time, but I did really like it. It's definitely gonna be like my go-to special occasion type of foundation because it's gonna work well for that <laughs> um, but anyways 
I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.